Welcome to today's video. In this video, we'll be setting up the Samsung Galaxy A25 5G. The first step is to switch on your device. And if it's not turning on immediately, you may need to connect it to a charger, then try again. Then, once it's turned on, you should be brought to this welcome page. And the next step is to choose the language you want. So tap on this drop down arrow and a list of languages that you can use will appear on your device. So select the one that suits your needs and then tap on OK. And that will be the language you'll be using during the whole setup process. Once you've selected an, a language, tap on Start. Then you'll need to agree to the end user license agreement and the privacy policy. So you can also choose to agree to this sending of diagnostics, but it's completely optional and up to you. Once you've agreed to both of them, just tap on this button here. Then you can choose to set up using a different device. So you can choose to set up using a Galaxy device or Android, or you can choose to set up using an iPhone or iPad. So it's completely up to you but let me choose to set up manually so it will be a whole new device then you'll need to use select a wi-fi network so connect to one and once you've connected you can tap on next then you'll need to restart your device so tap on restart so just wait for your device to restart Then once it's restarted, we can continue with the setup process. So just wait for a few more minutes for your phone to get ready. Then from here, you can choose to copy apps and data from a different device. If you want to continue with this feature, you can just tap on next and follow any of those on-screen instructions, or you can just to choose to select don't copy and continue. So while it's tracking the info, you need to wait patiently. Then from here, you can choose to sign in with your Google account. So just enter in your details and then tap on next, or you can just choose to skip for now. And then you can always choose to add it later. Then you'll also have these Google services that you'll need to give permissions to. If you're happy with what type of permissions and the information you've been given, tap on accept. And then you can choose to add face recognition, fingerprints, pin, password, or pattern, or you can just choose to skip for now as well. So you can always add them later if you decide. Then wait patiently again.
And now you should see a list of recommended apps that will appear on your screen. So tap on next and you can choose to sign in with your Samsung account. You can always choose to skip and do this later. And if you wish to skip this step, tap on forgot password or don't have an account and then select set up later in settings. Then it will give you reasons on why you need the Samsung account. If you wish to sign in, just tap on that option or just continue by selecting skip. Then you'll see all these Samsung services that are available. If you wish to enable or disable them, it's up to you. And once you've made your choices, tap on agree. From here, you can choose your display mode. You can choose to have it in light or dark mode, and it's all up to you to decide. You can choose to change this later in your display settings, so it's not a permanent choice. Then tap on next and select finish to finish setting up your device. So now you can also install other apps. So just tap on continue. And then you can always choose to set up these options, such as your gender and your age group, or you can just deselect skip. And from here, you have all these other apps that you can choose to install right now. Then tap on install and then select finish. From there, you'll be brought back to your brand new Samsung Galaxy A25 home screen with all the apps installed. Thank you for watching and stick around for more videos on the Samsung Galaxy A25 5G.